Hey guys, welcome to episode 2 of Question Answered on YouTube by me. I don't even have a name for this series, so if you like suggest something cool, I put it down. I thought Ask Does sounds a little bit too cheesy and uh, self-indulging, but uh, well, anyways. I was collecting some questions for a couple few months on a piece of different piece of paper. If somebody sent me email and it's either funny or kind of repetitive question or just interesting, I was putting down. And that's enough for make a couple more videos, so I will address a few of those today. I actually tried to make one video while being on vacation, but it turns to be that using uh, this GoPro cam inside of waterproof housing didn't turn very good results. Um, I will insert a quick video right now to show you that sound was so bad I tried to salvage it but it didn't work out. So check this. So the one question that was asked, not once and not twice, um, is uh, where to put thermo thermo sensor, which part of the loop. And the uh, short answer is basically it doesn't really matter. Yeah, you see, didn't really work well. Anyways, so let me look on a couple of questions. I try to group them and, uh, and answer you. There was a few questions about LEDs because obviously I spoke about LEDs quite a bit as it's, it's one of the products that we're doing ourselves. And uh, one question, people still confuse. How hell can I dim LEDs? Well, it's really it's quite simple, you need to provide less than 12 volts to LED and there's a few ways to do so. Uh, for example, it can be fan controller that you use to slow down your fan, so you connect LED light to fan controller and you just deliver less voltage. Or you can use some adapters cables that has built-in resistor to 5 volts, which probably will be too much because probably kill uh, light completely because LEDs usually goes totally dim about 6 volts but there's also cables that goes uh, from 12 to 7 and this will gi give you a fixed uh, low level of lightning but my recommendation if you would like to dim your LED to your liking use your existing fan controller most of people who are serious about computing have fan control anyway so you just use one port to do so uh, another Somebody, another question somebody just uh, asked me is that totally killed me. Um, is it okay if I will bend your rigid LED light 90 degree and put it in a corner? Please don't. Will you bend your GPU card if it's too long and doesn't fit your case so you can bend it 90 degree and you know fit your little uh, case? No, you wouldn't. You'll kill it. The same for rigid light. So PCB is not bendable. It's meant to be straight if you put it on uh, some sort of adhesive tape and you need to remove use a uh, utility knife something sharp to cut tape don't just try to bend LED you will kill it and that will be your fault not manufacturer fault right so don't bell rigid LEDs if you want to go LED around the corner you have to stick to flexible LED strips that's the way to go another question that um, also related to lights another person asked um, I would like to put your UV lights around keyboard and around computer, try to make ambient lighting um, out of UV lights basically uh, and uh, how to do it. Well, my recommendation, don't. As you may know, UV actually is not that great thing for your skin, might um, cause cancer in a large doses. Obviously LED uh, light or strip of LED lights it has very minimal amount of UV radiation, but nevertheless, it's still harmful. It's okay to have ins inside of your computer, which is probably far away from you, but l just put it right on your skin with, with distance of a few inches. I don't think it's very smart to do so, so select some other type of light that is not harmful. That will be my recommendation. So UV accent light, ah, bad idea. And, uh, and the last question I would like to address today, so I have something for next video too. Um, somebody asked me and this funny question. Let me find it where I put it. Um, yeah, here. Check this out. It's really cool. Uh, will my room get also colder if I will start water cooling my computer? Hmm. No. 